GOG239 was the first study ever performed prospectively in low-grade serous ovarian cancer, and this looked at selumatinib as a single agent for treatment of patients with recurrent low-grade serous ovarian cancer, um, and uh, treated those patients with single-agent selumatinib. The response rate to that study was promising with a 15% response rate. Um, in that study, there was molecular analysis to look for prevalence of KRAS and BRAF mutations in the patients treated on that study. Um, only a limited number of the patients treated on that study had molecular results available. And w with those results, we were not able to find an association between molecular alteration and response to therapy. However, with newer types of sequencing that we do now, such as next generation sequencing, we may better be able to find those associations. Um, following the results of that study, the, there have been subsequent studies looking at MEK inhibitor um, in low-grade serous ovarian cancer. Um, uh, the GOG performed a study of trametinib versus physician's choice of chemotherapy or hormonal therapy. That phase three study has completed accrual. We do not yet have the results. And then the MILO study looked at uh, binimetinib, a uh, single agent MEK inhibitor versus physician's choice of chemotherapy in patients with recurrent low-grade serous ovarian cancer. That study was stopped after enrolling more than 300 patients um, as it uh, crossed a predefined uh, futility endpoint for the hazard ratio for progression-free survival. Um, however, the results of that study are, are quite interesting and we will be publishing the results of that study soon. So hopefully soon we'll have more data out there about the response rates to uh, MEK inhibitor and chemotherapy in the recurrent setting in a larger number of patients.